Hello all, let us see why silicon is most widely used. So when there are four electrons in the outermost orbit, the semiconductor materials are referred as a pure or intrinsic semiconductors. Let us see the structure of semiconductor materials. Here we have shown the germanium and silicon atomic structure. So the atomic number of germanium is 32 and silicon is 14. The orbit electrons uh, number that will be depends on the expression 2n square. So as we know that from the basics, the number of protons will be equal to number of electrons in a neutral atom. And here, uh, the, that, that, that is also equal to that atomic number. So the germanium, it has 32 electrons and 32 protons. Similarly, the silicon, it has 14 protons and 14 electrons. So the protons and neutrons that will be on the nucleus and the electrons that will be on the orbits, right? And here, as per this expression, the first orbit, we, we can have uh, two electrons, where this n, it indicates the orbit number. So, 2 into 1 square, which is equal to 2. Similarly, for the second orbit, 2 into 2 square, we can accommodate 8 electrons. Third orbit, we can accommodate 2 into 3 square, uh, 18 electrons. And the last fourth orbit, we can accommodate uh, 2 into 4 square, which is equal to 32 electrons. But as per the atomic number, uh, it is uh, since it is 32, the final orbit or the outermost orbit, we can accommodate only 4 electrons. So normally for semiconductor materials, as we discussed, we, uh, the, uh, that is the orbit electrons, outermost orbit electrons, orbit electrons that will be equal to 4 only. So the same uh, you can apply for the silicon also. And here, the protons are positively charged and the electrons are uh, negatively charged particles. So there will be a force of attraction uh, between them. So if you see the force of attraction, that will be more for the first orbit electron compared to the second orbit electron. So because of that reason, because of that reason, uh, if you take that valence electron, if you take the valence electrons of silicon, if you compare that uh, silicon and germanium, the silicon it is, uh, that is the valence electrons are located in the third shell and uh, if you see the germanium it is located on the fourth shell. So by comparing these two we can observe that the valence electrons are most that is, it is more loosely bound to the nucleus than silicon, okay, because of the distance, because it is on the fourth orbit and this is on the third orbit. So here, the germanium, it is loosely bounded or the force of attraction compared to the silicon, which will be what less, that is why it is loosely bounded to the nucleus. And uh, the very small amount of energy, if we import, no, we can easily or we can easily extract these valence electrons of germanium. So that is a reason, uh, uh, that, is a re that is one reason and also at high temperature, the germanium it becomes unstable than silicon. That is why we are using uh, uh, silicons in most of the applications. And also, and also, the barrier potential of PN junction, it depends on the material doping rate and the temperature. And we can see that the silicon, it is having the higher barrier potential compared to the germanium, where silicon has 0.7 volt and the germanium has 0.3 volt. Thank you.